Welcome to another day of the accountability series. It's another day to build our habits. <laughs> I think I'm really locking down on a lot of these habits that we've been working on throughout the series, which has been super great that we've been doing this together. And today I wanted to talk about something which commonly happens to us in our fitness journeys or in our health journeys, finding the groove to working out. Like if you've ever been burnt out with working out or feel like you don't have any energy or motivation to do it, let's talk about that. But first, let's eat. Do -do 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 -da 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 you always deserve to eat. Let's eat. We've got the chicken. I'm gonna make a chicken spread. We are in an emong spandesal phase because when dad knows we like something, he buys a lot of it till we get sick of it. Open up your pandesal, put a cheese spread. This is some pimienta spread that we just buy. Didn't make it. Maybe I'll learn to make it. Chicken spread, time I want to put in it. But add some fiber, but as it is. So today I have some stuff to do, but for now I'm gonna snack. This is a snack that we found in the grocery. The grocery vlog, uh, some mushroom shiitake crisps with around eight grams of fiber. Let's try it. This one's like a heart. It has a nice flavor, but it's not very crispy or crunchy. It's a bit of a hard bite. Back in my dieting days, of course, it was like diet hard, workout hard, and I never had the energy or motivation to work out, so I thought I was just lazy. It wasn't until years later that I realized I didn't have energy to work out because I was not eating. If you find yourself struggling with your consistency to work out or you feel like you might just be so lazy to work out, take a look if you're eating enough because our bodies are very smart. And if that is telling you not to work out, making you feel lazy because you literally have no energy, that is just your body's survival mechanism. So the first thing I definitely want to check in with if you are struggling with your consistency with workouts is, are you eating enough? Because that will definitely help bring up your energy to get some movement in. We are a little bit late to eating, so let's make lunch. Also, I wanna show you the tennis bracelet that my sister made, love. It's got tennis balls. I thought there was still rice, but there's no more rice. So we are going to have some pesto pasta. chicken that we made. I am now calling these my acid snacks because I have to snack every two to three hours to keep my acid at bay. When it comes to working out, consistency is very important. But we have to look at the things that affect or keep us consistent. And one of those things, which I may argue is one of the most important things, is doing movement that excites you or is fun for you. Let's put this outfit on. What I noticed is before it was so hard to be consistent with movement because I was dreading it. Just thinking about it was already exhausting. It was sometime 2022 where lifting weights was just not exciting. Like I would put on my workout outfit, but I was not gonna work out. And it ended up with me doing multiple I'll start Monday, I'll start Monday cycles. We have to remember that there are so many ways to move your body. And the goal is to find a form of movement that you enjoy most. And that for me was tennis. When I started playing tennis, movement became fun again. It went from something that I had to do into something that I wanted to do. Of course, not every day, but most of the time. Now, of course, it's important to remember that different forms of movement have different roles to play. Like cardio can be very helpful for stamina, endurance, and heart health. While strength training will help you maintain your strength and build muscle long term. And then there are other forms of movement for flexibility, coordination, and more. And it would definitely depend on what your goals are or what you want to feel to find a movement that fits for you. But overall, the movement that you can keep up with the most will be the best type of exercise for you to do. So if you're stuck or feeling in a slump, I suggest to try different forms of movement that help ignite that excitement again. Because ever since I started playing tennis, my excitement for lifting weights also grew because now I needed strength and power during the game. We're back at the gym again. The whole week I've been playing tennis, which has been so much fun, but we gotta get back to building our strength, building up our muscle. Let's do this. Oh, did you hear my back crack? Today I wanna switch it up and start with a bench press. Just a little warm up. 
Something I've realized really impacts consistency is the intensity of your workouts. We're adding some weight. This is because we often think that we have to go hard or go home, but I am home. But this is our home gym, so which one am I supposed to do? That one's a joke. Let's lift it. One, two, three, eight. Woo! I think we can go heavier. Sometimes you go too hard until you're so sore that you just can't go anymore tomorrow. Remember, you don't have to feel sore in order for the workout to work. <sighs> Wow, do I feel strong. On the other side, it can also affect us when we are not challenged enough by our workout. Like doing the same thing all the time and not feeling like you're getting stronger or better or faster. And then you think, what's the point? Oh my goodness, that was rough. The thing with movement is you have to find the balance of challenging yourself to grow and feel better and become a better person or a version of yourself and not pushing yourself too hard that it starts to feel like a punishment for you simply existing. We want to have a direction, but we also don't want life to revolve solely on working out unless it's your job or maybe you're an athlete. One of the things I realized is that some people have a hard time working out because they think that they're just working out for workout's sake. Like I'm supposed to be doing this, so I should be doing this. But when we start shifting and reframing into movement that actually helps us in our day to day, like maybe walking more because you wanna go on a hike or lifting more weights so you can have fun with your kids and carry heavy groceries, it gives you more of a purpose through working out rather than simply just working out and that purpose helps us build our routine and consistency i don't know if i'm mathing right 15 plus 15 is 30 plus 10 plus 10 is 50. Oh, 70 kilos we're on our last two exercises exciting you know a workout's good when you want to do it again and be better We have frozen bangus, which we put a little bit of olive oil and then air fried. And then some potato fries, which is just chopped up, put some olive oil, a little bit of salt, and then air fried. Low effort, balanced, delicious. Let's eat. We've got this donut. This is a salted caramel donut. A lot of dough and a very small hole for the filling. Mm, the filling is yummy, but there's so little. Where's the filling? A lot of bread, very little filling. That is a lot. Dinner is done, and then we just watched two episodes of Breakpoint. I will say in this day, we did need more fiber, but that's okay. Doesn't mean we failed or ruined anything, because we can try again tomorrow. Another very important part of our fitness journey to keep us consistent when it comes to workouts is, of course, rest. Planning around your rests, making sure you have time for rest. Resting is part of the journey of recovery, sustainability, consistency. We need our rest days to keep us going. You deserve to rest. And with that said, it is time for me to rest, which is go to bed, and another day done. Comment below how you like to move your body, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, don't forget, you always deserve to eat. The video's over, but that doesn't mean you have to go. You can still subscribe or watch another video. Thanks for watching.